I gave her the doll on her birthday. She loved it at first and told me it was so beautiful, that its hair was so soft and the dress was so pretty. She wouldn't let it out of her sight for days. Through the daylight hours, she set it on the table so she could see it while cleaning the house. And at nighttime, it sat next to her bed, watching us sleep with big, blue, unmoving eyes. But my daughter's love for the doll soon changed. Soon, I noticed something was bothering her. I asked, of course, but she wouldn't tell me. She said the doll was just being silly. I could notice that day after day, she became more reserved towards me until I couldn't take it anymore. I pressed her, told her she would tell me what was going on right now or I would take her to the doctor. She finally broke down crying. The words came spilling out. She told me the doll scared her. It was constantly watching her. Sometimes it even seemed to move. This worried me, and I went to take a look for myself. The doll sat motionless on the little table in her bedroom. Its eyes were dull and unchanged, and I couldn't help but sigh in relief. Of course she's not moving. I went to look away, but then saw a tiny movement from the corner of my eye. Holding my face close to the doll's eyes, I stared into them. Something was moving. Trying to concentrate, I looked closer. Yes, there definitely was movement, but not from the eye itself. It was behind the eye. Suddenly, the eye burst out and onto the floor spilled at least ten wriggling maggots. I dropped the doll in shock, backing away instinctively. My daughter yelled from the other room, asking me what was going on. I yelled back at her not to worry. Picking up the doll again, I used a tissue to wipe away the maggots. Inside, I saw more pressing against the skin and plastic outer layer. So soon. I had hoped she would last longer. I'll have to get her a new one. Maybe keep it alive at first. That way, it'll last longer for sure. My daughter always said she loves the blonde hair of little Katie down the block.